Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find you all well wherever you are. Um, if you are a ZEP holder, I've got both good and bad news for you. That is why I decided to come and record this podcast. Uh, that is because uh, I've had a number of people give me, giving me feedback in as far as applications for waivers are concerned for those who want to move on from the ZEP to the general work visa. This is what I want to talk about. Uh, before I go ahead, may I request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. So, I'll begin with the good news. Uh, the good news that I'm getting from those who applied for waivers uh, and they've been waiting for a long time, some for more than two years, is that the waivers have now been stepped up. That is the release of the waivers from the Department uh, of Home Affairs. So, which means that people can now uh, quickly apply for their general work visas. You will know that uh, we confirmed uh, last week that following the confusion at VFS, the Department of Home Affairs still requires you, if you are so joining from the ZEP to a mainstream South African visa, that is the general work visa especially, to first apply for a waiver. If you have already applied for a waiver, you need to await the outcome because you will need to have that particular waiver when you submit your documents for the general work visa. Because most of you do not qualify for any other South African permit, especially the general work visa, because you don't have the required qualifications and you don't meet certain requirements. So the minister, in realization of that, then wavered the requirement for a SACA evaluation certificate and the Department of Employment and Labor Certificate, but only for those who have been granted waivers. So the Minister of Home Affairs, that is Dr. Leon Schreiber, has been in the media lately and issuing statements that Zimbabweans who applied for waivers uh, now will be given first preference in as far as the adjudication of applications is consent because you will know that the ZEP expires on the 31st of December, that is this year. And true to his word, uh, we have seen a stepping up of the release of waivers. He stated in a statement last week or so that they had uh, adjudicated 60,000 waiver applications from ZEP holders and they were left with 22,000 from those that had applied at the time uh, that was under review. And this is the page that they are busy with. And we have, since last week, uh, and especially yesterday, received feedback from people that applied for waivers, some of who had even lost hope uh, that several waivers have been released. Now, that is very good news because that will then allow people to apply for general work visas before they can travel to Zimbabwe, that is for Christmas, that is in December. So that is quite good news, and it shows that the Department of Home Affairs is now very effective in as far as dealing with the backlog of applications is concerned. But now, what's the bad news? The bad news is that most of the waivers that have been released by the Department of Home Affairs carry one kind of mistake or another. There are plenty of people who applied as waiters, but their waivers came back stating that they are drivers. There are several people who work in construction jobs whose waivers came back stating that they are waiters. There is a domestic worker who yesterday got their waiver stating that they are an assistant manager at a company they've never heard about. So these kind of uh, mistake uh, of mistakes seem to be very much common for waiver applicants while 
uh, transiting or trying to search on from the ZEP to the general work visa. So plenty of them carry mistake, mistakes. If it's not about the job uh, description of a person, it is uh, about the company where they work, uh, or especially it's the job and the company where they work. So that is where most of the problems are. The name and surname will be correct. The ID number will be correct. That is the passport number. But either the job is wrong or the company name is wrong. So at the end of the day, this has left people in a number of, uh, in a quandary as to what to do going forward. So many of those who received their waivers last year or earlier this year with these kinds of mistakes and took them back to VFS have not yet been given the corrected version of their waivers, which means they are stuck as to what next to do. So people have been asking, what exactly should they do? Should they wait? Should they take the waivers back? Should they continue to apply for the general work visa? And now we have spoken to uh, officials that is at the Department of Home Affairs. And this is what they are saying. They are saying that it's going to take a lot of time for you to have your waivers corrected because they are dealing with backlogs that date back to years. So the suggestion is that once you have received your waiver and it has some uh, mistakes, what you need to do is you go to a police station, write an affidavit stating what the mistake is and stating what the correct uh, information is. Then you apply for a general work visa. And then when you apply for a general work visa, have a copy of that affidavit and uh, a copy of the waiver attached to your documents when you go and submit for the general work visa, which means that they will correct that information when they adjudicate for your general work visa. So I hope people have understood me then. Uh, so this is what I thought I should update you about and give you the remedial action so that you don't waste time waiting another year or so for a corrected version of your waiver. Once you've obtained it, just go ahead and apply for a general work visa. But if it's got a mistake, just make sure that uh, you do an affidavit at your nearest police station, attach a copy and a copy of the waiver when you go and submit your documents to, on the day of your appointment at VFS Klopa. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. But also, if you've got any questions to ask, please don't hesitate to use the comment section underneath this video or to send us a WhatsApp message on plus two seven seven three nine six two three zero seven five. Don't call, don't even call via WhatsApp. Just send us a text message. Don't send a voice note. Send us a text message. If you want us to talk to you uh, via a phone call, first ask if you can call or what time you can call or if you can send us a voice note. Uh, just ask, can I send a voice note so that we know uh, or we don't delay you because once you just send a voice note and we don't open it because we are busy, we might forget to then listen to it because there is plenty of messages that we are getting via WhatsApp. So thank you very much. I hope I have uh, addressed an issue that has been a serious problem because plenty of waivers that uh, were released during the past few weeks have been carrying mistakes and people have been wondering what to do. Should they take them back? Should they appeal? Should they continue to apply for a general work visa, especially considering that the expiry date is fast approaching? We are talking about, we are in September already, October, November, December, that's three months, and time is not on people's sides. 
and there is Christmas holidays coming. People want to be able to travel to Zimbabwe. Thank you very much. Don't forget, as I've said, to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.